I thought that that uh, for the first time in playing a game in over 400 days, um, it was a physical game. It was uh, a very highly competitive game. And again, one of those games that have gone back and forth. My, my tenure as both head coaches at both places and assistant coach. So we played about 20, you know, freshmen or redshirt freshmen, another 10, 10 or so sophomores. So, I mean, our, our team is a, is, is a group of, of young individuals. You have some of those wily veterans, but this is kind of, you know, the turning over of the roster and, and uh, a guy like Hollis Mathis, who's a second year player, has an opportunity to get better as a quarterback. So, you know, we're encouraged. You know, unfortunately, the James Madison pause is not that opportunity, but looks like the Elon uh, opportunity here at our place will be presented. So uh, we'll just continue to keep practicing and get better. What it looks like, it will, it will take the form of when you have an, an open date, uh, particularly, but obviously the ones, the things we need to take care of from what was uh, demonstrated on this past Saturday uh, the opportunity for those players who may not have gotten a lot of reps, but it's just, it's just, you, you got to come up with some what if scenarios here. Uh, as you look across the country, you look at what happened in, when the uh, F FBS was playing pro football, you look at some of the games now, you know, when you're, you find out that your backup, who's a backup to someone else finishing the game or playing. So we're going to try to create, you know, scenarios where, you know, your third team wide receiver, is going to have to get, you know, reps because he might have to play significantly because of contact tracing or whatever it may be. Um, the younger kids that, you know, that came here to play, to give them the opportunity to play because of the this year being an, an, a year that's going to be added an additional year to their eligibility. So there's so many factors, Dave. There's so many, there's so many options, and we're, we're going to try to cover as many options as possible, but knowing that something will ultimately happen that we haven't prepared for, but at the same time, we're going to try to prepare for as many scenarios as possible while still being competitive. The, the biggest thing, if you go back, you look at uh, particularly a couple of plays here where uh, a misalignment on their end of the end of the game drive where a guy lines up, you know, outside of where he's supposed to be. And then the ball cuts back and they extend a, a third down drive to a first down. But previously in the game, in the right position, it wasn't the starter, but it was the backup. So the, the backup, all these guys that have an opportunity to play, all of them being in tune to uh, the things that are, that are important. On a kickoff return, you know, Bronson Yoder, who is our All-American versus, you know, their guy, uh, you go back, have a chance to show if, if one guy blocks a guy running down on kickoff that Bronson has a chance to, uh, you know, to, to get through and, uh, and perhaps change the field position for. So we learned, you know, obviously the little things matter. We also learned that those guys that are next to go in the game have to be as detailed uh, because it, it comes to fruition where they're going to have to play and produce. And you never know when that, that play that they make will be the play that will be decisive. You know, Scott, we, we've dealt with being resilient all, you know, for over a year now. And, you know, the so what now what mentality has, has been – we, we got to take it as the day is presented because we, we literally live in a hour to hour moment, by moment day by day. What are we going to do next? Because there's so many factors that are, are contributed to whether we practice or not, whether we have a, you know, a, a particular segment of practice to go, uh, you know, to go over, um, you know, how you plan. So it's the message is, listen, we're not playing James Madison because of uh, their protocol, I mean, their, their testing issues there or their positive cases, whatever it may be, we're not playing. But what we can do is take this week to get ready to correct the things that, you know, that we saw on Saturday to get more players, reps, and opportunities to be deeper involved in the depth and, and then prepare for Elon. There will be a certain point that we'll maybe have an extra day or two before uh, game week to prepare for Elon. Yeah, uh, very much involved in his recruitment, know him well. Know him, you know, from being from the Richmond area. Um, I know the people that are in his circle of influence very well. Uh, Billy McMullen, former Virginia receiver, very well. So um, the opportunity to to get back with uh, with Cole that presented itself. You know, we we jumped at the chance, and you know he uh, he showed up. You know, he showed up on on Saturday, and 
we're glad we have him on our team because we're going to need him to uh, to continue to be a veteran player, make veteran plays. He adds an element to special teams because of his savviness. And so he's a, he's a really good football player. We're glad we got him on our team. What I saw, Dave, was uh, more maturity and then more of the ability to, to trust his reads. Obviously, throwing on the run, um, there were a lot of situations where he was able to do that. Um, and then, you know, running when he needed to run. And op- one of, you know, there's a few, few examples of they, they were set on the perimeter of not letting him get out on the edge. So we had to do some other things. But you, you did see some of the maturity that you hope that your quarterbacks evolve with over their, their time with, with the reps that they get and the opportunities playing in competitive games. And he did that. And uh, we're just glad we have him to, to be able to get ready to get better for, for this upcoming uh, game against Elon. Obviously, being able to run the ball is, is critical because, uh, as you saw, when they were running the ball and then having opportunities to uh, create you know, third down situations that you end up getting first downs on, you, you control the clock, you control the ball moving. So uh, I thought we were a little sluggish at the beginning in the, in the first, you know, going into the ended up in the first half, but going into the third quarter that, uh, you know, that our, 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 our adjustments, our hat placement, or opportunities to create holes um, that got better and, and, and allowed us to, you know, to, to score points. So I, I would say, and that's part of, part of the getting better in this quote unquote open weekend time that we have is to make sure hat placement backs reading the cuts that are going to be created uh, angles, all those things that we, we get better at doing those. And so hopefully the, the jump from your first game to your second game, after you've had a first game of looking at your film, and the corrections that are needed, um, hopefully there's a there's an improvement from that standpoint, and that's what we're looking to do, Marty. Is is as we go through this week of concentrated first and second down calls, uh, of concentrated third down situations, of concentrated red zone, you know, low red zone, high re- red zone, and, and special teams units. Because you have the time, uh, the goal is to eliminate those errors and and be on the plus end the next time we have a chance to compete.